For our little bonus video, we should be looking at the 1984 game Treasure Island, published by Mr. Micro. This is one of the six games that came with a singular spectrum plus two. So I, be play I played it as a kid, loved it, it was brilliant. I'll be playing through it now properly, dressed as a pirate. I've got my, got my rum in my goblet, and most importantly I've got Morrison's The Best Rum and Raisin Dark Chocolate. The most piratey chocolate you can possibly get. So, after I've had my tea, which is in the oven, a bit of pizza, I shall be cracking on, opening the rum, and then seeing how we get on. See you in a bit. Treasure Island, Mr. Micro Limited, 1984. Look at the beautiful island. It's some sort of wibbly wobbly shape. There's a whale. There's the two hearts with the symbol of Mr. Micro. Some kind of SS symbol. Not quite sure why that's there. That's not. That wouldn't apply today, I don't think. Uh, I believe you press a key to start. Yes, you do. Okay, so there is no instruction to what the keys are, but the keys are 6 is left, 7 is right, 9 is up, 8 is down, and 0 is fire. I'm at the bottom. That I'm Jim Hawkins. The first thing I need to do is board the Hispaniola, avoiding blind pew. There's a little chap running back and forth there. And you have to run and go left a bit, right a bit, oh, and try not to die. So let's try again. There is, a, there is a knack to this. It's a bit, sort of, a bit like Frogger, maybe. Do you have infinite lives? I don't know. We're soon going to find out. When I got on the ship without dying. Ah, oh, I don't have infinite. I have three lives. Let's try that again. I've got my rum. I've got my rum, my rum raised. I've not started them yet. That's a nice effect. Quite pretty. Let's try again. I used to be able to do this. Because I finished this game. Yes! Now I had to have a sip of rum. Well, technically it's rum with orange juice and some cane syrup and some lemon juice and lime juice. So here we are in the app, in the barrel. We need to escape the pirates in the, in the book Treasure Island. Jim Hawkins is in the apple barrel and he overhears the plot from uh, Long John Silver to over the, overthrow the ship. So here we're in the barrels, so you can see the dead rats. And here, you need to jump without getting caught with the hands. And there's a, there's a timing window, obviously, which I'm not quite caught. Yeah. Oh. And let's try that again. So that's level two. When I get to level three, before I have to stop and see Ed the Penguin, who's a nice man doing a stream later on. I hope so. Come on. Let's get to level three at least. Yes, you get three lives. Right, let's try again. Right, so the key here is timing. You need to jump just before the hand opens. Yeah, but not too just before. It's a tricky game, isn't it? If you jump too soon, you die. If you jump too late, you die. The M looks a bit like a Greek helmet. It's quite nice. I should probably warn of flickering when I get to the descriptions. Otherwise, we'll give everyone an epileptic fit. There's obviously a bug on the right-hand side of the screen and also above the G, some stray pixels. Right. So up. Left, down a bit, right a bit, up, right. So I've got this bit down. I've not played this for God, a very long time. So, be on the edge. Yes, you're going to be on the edge, not too far. Okay, last one. And then, level three. This is the main part of the island. You can see the stockade. There's Jim, next to the stockade, where Squire Trelawney and Dr. Lives in and the rest of the gang are. There's a pirate there. Pirates kill you on contact. And there's the sea. So that pink guy there is also a pirate. Pirates throw swords at you. Pirates only throw one sword. And even then, not always. As long as you don't touch them, that you're fine. That is a cutlass. You can pick that up whenever you like. Yeah, you don't, don't go that way. If you go that way, you die. Oh, I've collected some rum, which... Might give you some points, I'm not quite sure. 
So let's collect this cutlass. We're avoiding this guy. He's not doing any harm. Let's go up the side here. Here is a pirate. I've wasted that, unfortunately. There's a little river and some islands. And there's another pirate. Pirates only throw left and right. They don't throw up and down. This pirate is going to throw things at me. This pirate might do. Yes, he does. Remember, though, he's not going to bother me. This pirate, however, blocks my way. Again, this pirate there blocks my way. So let's go past this guy. So on the left hand side there you can see a not a very well drawn ship. That's the Hispaniola. Once you've got the treasure this bit here disappears and you've got on the ship and you win. Collect that. Kill this guy. There's some mountains. Aha, thank you. Pirates do not respawn. Oh. Pirates do not respawn, and neither do you. Hopefully I'll get slightly further than this. It's a good little game, to be fair. There's cheese there. Now, he's not going to throw a thing. You need the cheese. Cheese is beloved by Ben Gunn. Ben Gunn was a pirate, one of Captain Flint's crew, who was marooned on this island. He's gone a bit mad. And loves a bit of cheese. He's not had cheese for years. He calls it heaven, I believe, in the book. So the idea is you have to collect the cheese and he gives you the cheese and then he lets you past. So to get to that cheese, though, you need to get my cutlass. It's a sl slightly strange running animation. So you'd have, I'll have a bit of chocolate, if that's okay with you. Mm. It's like pirate ASMR. Um, it looks like he's whacking himself in the head with a cutlass, which is not a very clever thing to do. Safety first, kid. Safety first. Ooh, double blow. So. Let's kill this guy. Now. Fifteen percent. Not bad, to be fair. It's a good game. It's massive. I'll show you in a little bit the map or down to the map and play it. We're at the top of the island. We need to get past one pirate to get the treasure. We need to find a cutlass from a pirate. They will throw them at you. It is possible to waste cutlasses by throwing them into the side, so don't get that wrong. So run along. There he is. Some pirates do not throw at you. This one did. About to get the treasure. Prepare yourself. Isn't that lovely? So now you run back. It has a thing where you lose. <coughs> Excuse me. You get mysterious ghost gems for some reason after you get the treasure. So all we need to do now is make our way back through the maze of the island to the ship, avoiding pirates. You need to be very cautious with pirates because if you enter a space and there's a pirate just standing there. You will instantly die. I'm on my last life, and that will be the end of the game. This is a bad thing. For example, there, if I was slightly too high, I would die. So, all I'm trying to do now is make my way back through the maze, and that's a dead end. Earlier, there was a key there. So, there's, there's a nice river to follow. There is some cheese, which we could have picked up for extra points. There's a shark, Mr. Micro symbol. That was a dead end. So you'd think I'll be able to work all this out, except I'm not very good at remembering things. So there's the central mountains. So, Mr. Micro, central mountains. We should go down and down. Sharks and whales. Another river. So that's X very close to the start. Unfortunately, we can't get that very easily. So is it this way? Hopefully we won't die. What's up here? So that's where we need to be. Up, up there, the top of the screen is where we need to be. Unfortunately, we can't get there from here. So how do we get there? Nice sand dunes. The graphics are attractive. 
most of the screen is black, but the actual landscapes are pretty. They just block. They have no particular value apart from they block block your way. So to get to where we need to go, which is up there, how do we get? We need to go down. Further down here. No, we went there before. Is it this way? No, we went there before. This is where you keep a map. Except I've not bothered. Hence me going back and forth, back and forth. See if I go this way. Well, that was a waste of time, but that's where we need to get to the ship. So often the, the, this game is you can't get there from here. So I think I, I think I need to go. No, I've been here before. I can see where I need to get to, but I can't get there from here. Down we go. We need to get to the part of the right-hand side of the screen. So there and down and then right. No, back to the left then. Down here. I think. Well, that's it. I think we're good. That's it. We we fought, fought him earlier. That's where we died in the first run through of the game. Now it's a long straight run through. Glorious little game. It's good fun. Save scanning makes it a lot, a great deal easier. So now all we need to do is get onto the ship, which is now that there's a path there, get through the little gap, and then we win. Bit of flashing. And that's all you get. You get no great screen, you get game over, and a score of 77%. And you want to play again. Still. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed playing it. So here is the map of the island which I've downloaded from World of Spectrum. As you can see the place is absolutely massive. We start in the bottom left hand corner of the stockade and we made our way up to pass the ship on the middle on the left hand side. Then along the middle of the map, below the pink mountains in the middle, all those pirates. And then we died somewhere in the bottom right hand corner. The treasure is in the top left hand corner which is marked with the arrow. It's a very good game. It's very challenging. You only get three lives. There are no extra lives. Once your lives are over, you're dead. I do remember completing it and being very careful and very excited. And I bloody loved it. It was brilliant. It's very challenging. Um, I will go back to it again. But for now, I think I shall leave you with a rousing pirate tune.